Oh, hi, Dr. Carmela Tartaglia. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm really good. Uh, where are we? We are in the Center for Research in Neurodegenerative Diseases, which is located within the Crumble Brain Institute. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And what is it that you do here? Well, I'm a cognitive neurologist and clinician scientist, and I think about the brain most of the day. I look after uh, issues related to brain injuries, especially concussion. And so I spend my time trying to find ways to better detect concussion in people. I uh, think about what's going on in the brain while they uh, are trying to heal from a concussion, uh, how to predict how they're gonna do after a concussion, and uh, at the same time, try to understand how it is that one concussion can set you up for a neurodegenerative disease later on in life and how repeated concussions are even worse and can set you up for um, different types of neurodegenerative diseases and dementia. Wow, that's a complex topic. Can you by any chance sum up your research for us? Yeah, I can show you some of the things I do. One of them is looking at, you know, ways that we can find changes in the brain, even though concussion is actually an invisible brain injury. Um, most of the imaging changes that happen would not be able to detect, um, you know, the a concussion. So how would someone know if they have one? Yeah, that's a great question. Because the thing is that, you know, when you think of a concussion, and sometimes people use the word mild or the words mild traumatic brain injury, uh, the thing to remember is that it actually is a change in the brain that gives you the symptoms that you end up with after a concussion. So whether it's headache or mood problems or sleep issues, or they could be, you know, maybe your, uh, your concentration is bad or your memory is bad. Well, those things happen because of the brain and because of changes in the brain. But we don't have ways of detecting that. So we use um, kind of surrogate markers or biomarkers uh, to be able to try to find a way to tell you that something has changed in the brain. That's really cool. But what is a biomarker? So a biomarker is something that we um, use to try to tell us something about an organ or something inside the body when we can't access it. So let's say we wanted to know about what's going on in your liver, we may take a piece of the liver, but we cannot do that about the brain. So we use fluids or we use imaging or we use other things to try to tell us about the state of the brain. We know things have changed, but you know, we can't detect it right now. Thanks for explaining that. I'm also wondering if there's any common misconceptions about brain injuries that you want to debunk? Yeah, there's many uh, concept, uh, misconceptions. I think a uh, few of them that unfortunately we're still, still hearing today is that, you know, this misconception that you have to lose consciousness to get a concussion or a mild traumatic brain injury. And that is not true. Actually, most people who suffer a concussion do not lose consciousness. Um, another one is that you have to hit your head to get a concussion. And we know that people can get a concussion from hits to the body where the force is transmitted to the head or you can, you know, get a whiplash injury and your brain, you know, just kind of squashes back and forth and you can also end up with a concussion from that. Another concussion is that males and females will recover at the same rate. We have lots of evidence that unfortunately it takes females longer to recover from a concussion. So I think those are three of many others, um, but yeah, there's a Unfortunately, a number of, uh, of other misconceptions. One of them that I really like to debunk is this idea that you have to rest after a concussion. That is not true. We only want people to take it easy for, you know, 24, 48 hours. And after that, we want them to get out there, you know, move. Uh, low impact aerobic exercise is great for the brain. And we certainly want people to start moving after they've had a concussion. So that seems like something to help with their recovery. So what's the latest on treatments and recovery? Yeah, well, unfortunately, we don't have a cure for concussion. I mean, I think we're all hoping to have that at one day, but we do have a lot of treatments that we can use for concussion. So a lot of the symptoms that you end up with are, you know, things like headache. You can have a mood problem or sleep issues. Well, if you 
think about those symptoms, they are very common. You know, depression, anxiety, very common in our society. So we do have very good treatments for that. It doesn't matter what the cause is. And, you know, we can provide those treatments to improve your quality of life. And, you know, during the same time, we're also trying to find cures for concussion. Wow, I didn't realize how much advancement the field was making. In a few words, what do you enjoy most about your work? Well, I, I spend most of my day thinking about the brain. And, you know, the brain is what defines you. So I get to think about what changes have occurred in a brain that, you know, change people's personality, uh, change the way they interact with other people, uh, change, you know, their cognitive function. Um, you know, it may not be very sexy, but you know what? The brain defines you. And if your brain changes, you change. So after a long day of discussing brain injuries, how do you like to unwind? Well, I like to watch movies or I like to go for a run or I like to go for a bike ride. And it actually looks like you're about to head out for a ride now. But before we let you go, where can we find out more about brain injuries? There is the uh, Canadian Concussion Centre website. And you can go there and learn all about, you know, different uh, symptoms that come about after a concussion, about treatments of a concussion, the latest research. There's testimonials from some former professional athletes who are part of our research program. Um, so, yeah, lots of information for anybody who's interested. Perfect. Thank you for your time, Dr. Tartaglia. Enjoy your bike ride. Ciao.